Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 2004 Japanese exclusive e-hobby figure Detritus. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. Um, we can have a look at all the accessories that come with him to help you know if yours is complete. We will of course do some direct comparisons with him in the original owner of his mould. And because he is supposed to be a junkie, we can see just for a bit of a giggle how well he compares or displays, shall we say, with the only other junkie figure that was released at the time. And again, for those of you who are unaware or maybe not too sure what e hobby are, we can do some comparisons and see how he displays with other hobby e hobby figures like Hauler and I suppose Shattered Glass Sane Wave. And we've got a few others as well. So for those of you who are unaware, and I think these perhaps explain it better than what i can in words so ehobby is a company licensed by takara in fact working with takara and what they do and what they are allowed to do as you can see is they are allowed access to the original transformers and in fact the original diaclone molds to produce figures like this so the hall is the best example obviously hall was the figure that was never ever released um in the g1 continuity but ehobby went and released him in 2003 just using the grapple molds so with detritus it's a very similar story although detritus is i suppose not as well known as what hauler was um but let's have a little look at him so as i said yeah 2004 he was released and um, apart from just being, as I say, a redeco, they actually changed a lot. Like they dubbed down quite a bit of it. They got rid of a lot of the chrome. So if I get the original hound here, so you can see on Detritus, there's only the chrome really on the headlights. So there's none on the wing mirrors. There's none on the bit of the front. There's none on the backs of the uh, wheels, which you can see there. That's all sandy coloured. And indeed on the back, none of it on the back is chrome at all so as well as obviously giving a new paint job they really dumbed him down uh with the color intentionally because as i say he's supposed to be a junkian and interestingly enough about the, um, the junkian is that if we have a look at this so we've got some the contents here um he's got stickers which means that you can choose which faction you want him to be because i suppose they didn't really. I mean, I know they ended up helping Autobots, but sometimes they, they they choose their allegiance. And that's exactly what we've got here on the sticker sheet. I'm not going to be putting these on um, for obvious reasons because uh, it's new. I'm going to keep it new, basically. The accessories, again, are all exactly the same, but just different colours. So we've got no chrome there. We've got the little three missiles, which will go in the launcher. Again, minus the chrome. Got the large gun. Um, again, I look, look at the detail though so there's no chrome on it but there's like three or four different colored sandy dirty grainy sort of tinges to that lots it's lots of effort and detail into that same with the gun that's going to go on the back in the alternate mode and of course we've got the can and the spare tire and i think that actually looks much better it looks like it's, it really does look like it's in a case now some of the best thing that the hobby figures and in fact most in fact all japanese figures even back to g1 have these lovely little collector's cards you can see his number there is 77 lovely bit of detail on there and then if we spin it around in fact i'm going to zoom in because that is what he's supposed to look like with the stickers but i've read and seen horror stories when people put the stickers on and they just peel straight off so i don't want to do that at all unfortunately and there of course is the tech specs and uh, we'll do this for a teeny bit of fun we'll do some articulation on him he's a g1 figure in fact he's a diaclone mold so the articulation is as follows arms move up and down that's your lot unfortunately yes this will move back but that's only for transformation purposes um and you can say no you can't it's just for transformation this will move um that's about it but as i say it, back in the day when we used to have these imagination was all that we needed with these particular figures right i think that's enough to do with first impressions what we're going to do for the rest of the video we're going to have a look at him in his alternate mode before coming back and then doing some more comparisons okay we're back and as you can see he's in his alternate mode quick apologies for my transformation process on this video couple of reasons one is to keep the main length of the video down so it will be uploaded separately if you do want to watch it and of course that is the other reason if you don't want to see it you haven't got to but if you do it is going to be separately uploaded now the alternate mode it's looking really sort of blurred on this camera but that i think is to do with the paint job on here and how well they've made it look all sort of hazy now of course the alternate mode is the mitsubishi j59 off-road vehicle and if i bring it closer you'll see what i mean about the haziness as you can see it's different shades there's even bits of as i say sand 
grainy effect on the inside of the wheels it just looks really good and it looks like it's out of focus but i can assure you that obviously that you can see there that it definitely isn't you've got the rubber on the tires to be aware of thankfully enough again there's not much chrome on this um so it's nowhere near to be as bad as what of course the g1 version was with the chrome it can get heavily damaged this whole back part here is die cast you can really feel the weight in that but we can attach some of the accessories or i'm not going to push them all the way down so we've got of course the rear mounted gun which will fit into that hole there we've got the spare tire which is going to fit on there and then we've got the spare can which is going to fit inside that little um notch there there we go we've also got the red brake lights and the lights on the back it's just a great figure i love it and even though this is the not the hound color it just immediately brings back memories of, of hound in their first three cartoons uh, down by the dam um it's just a great figure what i'm going to do though i am going to bring up and now this is a bit of a beaten up hound in honesty and the main reason for this is is because what i want to show you is the things to be aware of with this figure so we can already see that this one's got the missing wing mirrors so that's something to look out for if you have to one for yourself um loose joints is a big thing as well it's a they are if they can get super loose the seats can get really loose as well with this again it's new so everything's nice and stiff chrome as well fades you don't really have to worry about it anymore um and i think do you know what because this is so vastly different even though it's the same mold as i say all the main things on here is the chrome you need to look out for as well as the wing mirrors but i've pointed that out rubber tires as well they can perish um but there you go and the good thing as well is even if you get one of these and it's got no accessories the beauty of it is you could still display it in any mold in any mode that you wanted to right that's enough i think looking at the alternate mode we're going to come back for the final time with his robot mode and do some more displays okay then we're back for the final time with him in his robot mode and the main reason for this is that's the way that i'm going to choose to be displaying him so let's take the gun and we're going to pop this into his hand like so um, is it going to fit again sometimes with brand new toys you've got to really push it in no that'll fit absolutely fine then we've got the over the shoulder rocket launcher these two slots are going to fit into basically either side of this so pretty much where it's pretty much like the wheel arch to be honest you can slot this into position and again apologies i'm not going to be taking any of the missiles off the sprue but just to show you that they are of course just a complete redeco minus the chrome of the originals which is there for you um and again i think he looks great uh such a such a brilliant paint scheme and paint apps on it it really does look like hazy on the from where i'm looking through the camera it looks hazy and a bit blurred but it's not at all uh one last quick comparison then with hound the original owner of the mold who actually looks a little bit taller which sounds crazy because it's the same um and then as i say this is probably the most <laughs> strangest one this is of course retgar one of the other junkians and he just about fits in so that means i'm definitely not going to fit the next guy in um but yeah and as i say hopefully we're going to be getting a new version of him very very soon so fingers crossed for that let's just have a quick look at him with some of the other e-hobby figures then so again these are i suppose they're quite desirable now so this is the original shattered glass sound wave this is hauler and then he's not going to fit in so these basically as you can see they're all old figures that they've just redecoed used the same molds and made some amazing figures with and this guy if he's going to fit in this is shining magnus so again they took the magnus mold and made something mental with that so what all, all i think all i need to say now is i hope you enjoyed looking at him i hope it educated you with who he is because we are expecting a new figure and if you want to see videos on any of these they're also on this channel just go to the e-hobby exclusives playlist anyway thanks for watching guys take care Thanks for watching, like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.